Welcome to Naresai Technologies, this is Ram Chandra. In the last video, in the last two videos, I did talk about what is multi-dimensional array and one more concept is how to write a program on multi-dimensional array with uh, fixed values, nothing but same values. If you are executing that last program multiple times, we are always printing the data like 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 itself. But especially in this video, I am discussing, I am going to discussing about uh, program on multi-dimensional array, program on multi-dimensional array with dynamic values, with dynamic values, very simple guys, nothing else. Now, if you want to work with a multiple multi dimensional with uh, multi dimensional array with uh, dynamic values we need to take support of one more type syntax that is new int of yes new int of two square brackets previously in the previous video we are writing the values directly but here we are not writing the values directly we are taking the support of what here we are taking the support of size, here we taking the support of size. So, what is the size here? 2 rows and 3 columns, 3 is belongs to column and 2 is belongs to what here? Row, this is the row and this is what here? Column. That means, our array, multi-dimensional array look like this, 2 rows as well as 3 columns, 2 rows as well as 3 columns, good. Now, we guys know that already, we guys know that already, every row starts with what here? 0, yes. Every column starts with also what here? 0 only. Every row starts with the 0 and every column, every row starts with the 0 and every column also starts with what here? 0 itself. Now, I want to play this, uh, I want to play the data into this uh, array. Now, assume entire this is represented by according to our diagram, according to our syntax represented by what here? A. Now, we guys know that if you want to represent any data in the multidimensional array, we need to take the support of uh, row as well as uh, take the support of uh, column, understand or not? If you want to write some data we need to write what here equal operator and we need to write what here 10 itself. Now, equal assignment operator and we need to write a 10. Now, A of a row of and a column equal to 10 means, now assume here A row value 0 as well as I am taking column value is also 0 equal to 10 I am writing. Then, 0 and 0 represent what here this memory location 10 will be placed. Already we discussed uh, this one, if you want to insert the data or if you want to read the data from the array, definitely we need to take the support of index positions. Okay, internally those index positions are replaced with what your memory locations. Understand, if you are working with a single dimensional array or if you are working with a multi dimensional array, definitely we need to take the support of what your index position. So, let me write syntax here, a equal to new int of I required rows and columns, here columns are 3 and rows are 2. Now, I want to read the data dynamically, if you want to read the data dynamically, definitely I need to take the support of what here, scanner class, scanner scanner equal to, mm, scanner equal to new scanner of uh, system dot in. Now, observe guys, I want to uh, give some user friendly message, what is that, enter values for, enter values for what, here I am writing like a 2 by 3 multi-dimensional array, 2 by 3 multi-dimensional array, that means 2 rows, 3 columns, 2 rows, 3 columns means totally how many values are you going to insert, totally 6 values we are going to insert. Now, observe here, for, 
if you want to represent the if you want to navigating one value to another value in the row we required one loop if you want to navigating the one element to another element in the column again we need to take what here one more loop here i'm taking uh, rows purpose i'm taking one row and uh, a dot size like uh, 2 and uh, i less than 2 and i equal to i equal to i equal to i plus 1 now later later here i'm writing like for int j equal to 0 j less than 3 and j equal to j plus 1 very nice now observe guys i want to read the data dynamically from the keyboard by using the scanner how to what type of data i want to read the array is int type so definitely we need to take the what here int type of data if you are using uh, uh, implicit casting either you can take what byte short as well as char now uh, let me write like this but here we can't converting a string data to char data directly okay so we need to take either byte support or uh, short support or int support but we can't take the what your char support for implicit casting but anyhow that is not our concept our concept is what here i want to read the data in integer format if you want to read the data in integer format what we required next int method required after reading the data what we need to do i want to place it into where here array which array multi-dimensional array row is what here i and column is what here j now initial i value how much zero zero less than two True. then control goes to where here body of the outer for loop in the body of the outer for, for loop what we have if the, in the body of the outer for loop we have inner for loop then j value how much here 0 and 0 less than 3 true or false true then automatically control goes to where here a of i comma j i value 0 j value 0 0 0 is nothing but what here 10 in the second repetition j value become a what here 1 I have 1 less than 3 true or false true then I am going to read one more value that value I am placed into where here a of 0 a of 0 j value is what here 1 i value 0 j value 1 and after that i value 0 and j value is what here 2 so j value become a what here 3 3 less than 3 failure then control goes to where here out of the out of the inner for loop there is no other content out of, in, within the outer for loop then automatically control goes to where here updation of the outer for loop i equal to i plus 1 then i value become a what 1 now i value become a 1 and again j value i am initialized with what here 0 i less than 2 true again inner for loop is going to start from starting onwards j value how much here 0 0 less than 3 true then i value 1 and j value 0 i value 1 j value 0 then this memory location i value 1 j value 1 this one and again i value 1 j value 2 and this is so in this manner we can able to place the data into various multi-dimensional array now let me execute in this program what happened you can understand now i am entering the values 10 20 30 40 yes 4 values printed letter 50 60 letter 70 no why 2 by 3 nothing but only we can send what here 6 elements really all these elements are placed into the array how can we believe that how can we prove that so just printing statement uh, the elements of the elements of multi dimensional multi dimensional array is observe guys for again int i equal to 0 i less than 2 i equal to i plus 1 later what i am writing here for int j equal to 0 j less than 3 j equal to j plus 1 and finally finally here i am writing like a system dot out dot print land system dot out dot print a of i comma i a of i and j now let me execute this program now i am entering the data like 1 2 3 4 5 6 now that is what advantage we can able to work with we can able to work with what your memory location we can able to work with what your multiple values multiple values nothing but previously when i was executing this program first time i am entering the data like 10 20 30 40 50 60 now in the second time 1 2 3 4 third time 
ट्रिपल वन ट्रिपल टू ट्रिपल थ्री ट्रिपल फोर ट्रिपल फाइव ट्रिपल सिक्स नथिंग बट वी कैन एबल टू वर्क विथ वॉट यूर मल्टीपल वैल्यूज सो नाउ ई वॉन्ट टू प्रिंट इन अरे फार्मेट If you want to print a array format, means what your multi-dimensional array format, then I need to take the support of what your print method as well as what concatenation operator. Then in this particular time, what happen here? Again, the data is not printing in the matrix format. Why? All the values I'm printing in the same row. After printing the first row with the inner for loop, I need to go for what your next statement, next line in the command prompt. Then what? method we are going to use print ln now see the beauty now finally 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 yes now one more time i am executing this program see three values and these are what here three values now one more time i am executing this program so here 9 8 7 6 5 4 then values are going to be print so this program is useful for working with multiple values uh, as well as uh, different values in each and every execution time but previous application is only stick with what you are 10 20 30 40 50 60 10 20 30 40 50 60 so there are two approaches to work with the multi dimensional arrays with uh, specific values as well as what you are dynamic values still this program is also having drawback What is the drawback? Observe here. We are always interact with what here, two rows and three columns. But I want according to my requirement, I want to work with multiple rows and multiple columns. How can we work with that? That video we are going to see in the next concept. That concept we will see in the next video. I hope you you enjoy with this video. For more videos, please subscribe Narayan Sethi channel. Thank you.